the leftist knives are already coming out for potential Democrat spoiler, Cornell West. Now, it's funny that they're actually attacking Cornell West. <laughs> they used to love Cornell West, and now that he's happened to uh, uh, the run against the establishment, they're attacking him and coming out, um, um, coming out against him, and and um, saying some of the things that I used to say about Cornell West. I I, I, um, I respect Cornell West. I think he's highly intelligent, but uh, he is a Marxist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he does have leftist ideology, and. Um, and uh, I speak out against that, but now it's funny that the Democrats are actually saying that against him now, because he's uh, he he dared to run against establishment uh, 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 leader uh, Joe Biden. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. Also, check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> it was fast. That was fast. Cornell West announced his run for president just days ago, but the left is already gunning for him because he represents a threat to the Democrats. Kellyanne Conway recently pointed out that West's candidacy could decide the presidency like Ross Perot did in 1992. The left knows this. And therefore, West must be destroyed. And MSNBC declares that Cornell West, a black Marxist, is running a campaign that has, quote, right wing DNA. <laughs> if you can believe it, a Marxist would work right wing DNA. So they see this is this is how they, they throw they throw against anyone that dares to go against the establishment, that dares to go against uh, even leftists. They're coming out against uh, um they're eating their own now and call and calling him right wing which is just crazy um but uh, they said cornell west left this presidential bid has right wing dna now this is according to nbc ostensibly leftist uh, academic cornell west launched his third party presidential campaign the way any true progressive would by promoting it on a podcast known to spread right wing extremist conspiracy th theories Hosted on a platform popular among right-wing extremists just weeks after praised Florida right-wing extremist Governor Ron DeSantis, West chose to promote his campaign with an appearance Monday on a web show hosted by Russell Brand, a comic who's known for spreading right-wing conspiracy theories and misinformation. It, Russell Brand now. We all know that Russell Brand is a leftist. Russell Brand is a socialist. <laughs> but when again, when you go against their the their ideology, the uh, progressive ideology, the uh, uh establishment left wing ideology, they call you right wing now. So this is the so the, the Overton window has shifted so far that now that Marxists self declared Marxists and socialists are now considered right wing. This is crazy. But the left uh, wing rag, the nation is also slamming West. They say Cornell West should not be running for president. They said, uh, they reported that this is a great country. Anyone can run for president. That said, Cornell West has no business running for president from the left, right, or center. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this, so they just, they just, uh, uh, contradicted themselves. This is, this is ridiculous, but this, but, but the, uh, Democrat party is a contradiction in itself. So that's why it, it, it it kind of makes sense that they would make those two statements. But they go on to say that I loved early Democrat Socialist of America leader Cornell West. I loved author of the 1993 book Race Matters West. Uh, I loved everything about West until he supported, spoiler, Ralph Nader against then Vice President Al Gore in 2000. <laughs> a lot of my political friends supported Ralph Nader back then, and a lot of them have since apologized, even Michael Moore. The Iraqi people and the people of the entire globe are so much of um, the worst since Gore, the climate change believer and war skeptic, was defeated by George W. Bush that year with an assist from the Supreme Court and Nader's Green Party. But it, I'm going to stop right here for a minute and point out the fact that Al Gore wouldn't have stopped the Iraq war. He, Gore is part of the establishment. And he's, if not even worse than uh, President George uh, uh George um, W. Bush, 
and and we still would have been in Iraq because again they both were part of Skull and Bones. They're both part of the same organizations. They're both part of the establishment, the Uniparty. So we would have been in Iraq no matter if uh, Gore was president or not. But uh, Democrats have spent the last several years claiming to be the nation's defenders of democracy, and it's all a lie. Their objections to Cornell West prove it beyond a doubt. Again, the Democrat Party is walk, a walking hypocrisy. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, check out jdthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.